Any surfer who spent time on Oahu is familiar with the less than ideal conditions that occur early in the day. We caught up with surfing's resident scientist and Maui's Mega Lab co-founder, Dr. Cliff Capano, to break down the magic cure for morning sickness. Have you ever noticed that kind of morning sickness shifting to groomed waves when the sun comes up? Definitely here more than anywhere. I don't know if the waves are actually better or if it's just because the colors just get more vibrant, but yeah. something's going on there. Dr. Cliff Capano, do you have an answer for us? Hello everyone, I'm Cliff here in the Mega Lab to talk to you about the science behind why the waves look better on the North Shore after the sun comes up. So when we're on the North Shore and usually before the sun comes up, like in a dawn patrol session, the water can look a little morning sickness or it looks a little bit different. According to a study in 2021 in the monthly weather review by a group out of the University of Hawaii and NOAA, wind does actually change in direction and acceleration from the early morning hours, say 5 a.m and after 8 a.m. when the sun hits the leeward coast of Oahu. The reason for this typically is that in the nighttime, as the land is cooler, there is a stable body of air that exists over the coastline. And as the sun rises and begins to heat up that body of air along the coast, it will rise, allowing it to be filled in by the prevailing wind direction. During Kona storms, Typically, there is not enough time for this air to stabilize above the coastline on the North Shore, and the prevailing onshore flow from west to east goes through the night and into the next day, which is when we see the storm surf. So there you have it. Now you have both scientific and anecdotal evidence that supports the waves do get better when the sunlight hits the water. In last week's episode, Noah Dean uncovered an old handshape of his late father, Wayne. This week, we reconnected with the younger Dean and another of his dad's designs, a 70s era single fin. I haven't surfed a single fin yet. I think if I get it into some like six foot waves, it will probably paddle sick and I'll probably have a, a mental time. I haven't surfed the board in over like two foot waves, so I don't know, but maybe it's got sick hold, but it's still, even then, it's pretty like big and narrow and like it's thick. It's like three inches or maybe more. I got the same froth for the board even though like it's, yeah, it's like three decades later or four decades later. I think it's made for stuff like this. We waited and this looks like a pretty good day for it and it's not real crowded so. Weird that there's no one out. It must be huge or something. Nah, it doesn't even look that big. I don't know. Definitely big if there's not one out. This is like similar to the 60s and the 70s because it's really not all that crowded. And the board he's riding is something that, you know, we would have and everyone would have been riding back in the day. And it's, you know, the only difference is we didn't have a cord, so you had to figure it out. But he's doing a remarkable job of just getting in, flowing on a big, giant, thick, one fin board. But he's Noah Dean, and if anyone can do it, he can do it. He's doing it. It's remarkable.